Hello everyone and welcome, welcome to my intuitive channel. But this today I'm going to look at which is relevant to what I do read on uh, is uh, psychopaths, okay, or psycho psychopathy. So that's what I'm going to look at today because a lot of these crime uh, stories that uh, I look into seem to have this personality uh, that, that I bring in intuitively and I want to talk about okay. So um, psychopathy, so um, I'm going to look at what you would notice with a psychopath, whether you're working with a psychopath, whether um, work colleagues or anything like that, um, that, that may alarm you or put up some, show some red flags to keep your distance okay because that's what you should do with people like this is not give them the benefit of the doubt but say let's just see how this goes because they are dangerous they can destroy relationships they can destroy people they can destroy companies they can destroy um, a working team they can destroy and become destructive um, for for no reason whatsoever. It can be no reason whatsoever at all. The only thing that I I uh, feel well, it is a personality, a severe personality disorder. You know that I'm not going to go into that. Look into that yourself. What is uh, uh, psychopathy, narcissism? Um, antisocial behaviour. What I am going to go into is some signs that may alert you to um, to the to these dangerous people that you're allowing into your business, your work, your um, you know, into your life as as a friend. Okay. First of all, they they. They study, well, when you meet them, they, they are studying you, okay? They study you and you find it quite endearing because they are, they, they mirror you. They mirror you and they study you. You're every, they, it's like they're scanning you. They're, they're looking for your um, different kind of, uh, you know, the way that you act, whether you are outgoing, whether you're reserved, whether you are a professional person. If they want to, um, you know, be be favoured by you, um, they start to, in their own way, start to love on you. And the way they do it is, is mirror you, first of all. And um, they will be like you. They will... Um, you know, say that you're very exuberant and you, you know, you're very expressive, then they will start to be this expressive person. If you are very reserved, very professional like, they will start to be very reserved and professional like because they they want you to feel as if you have met the perfect person for this job or the perfect person to be their partner or the perfect person to to be their friend okay they try to uh be your confidant they they will be your confidant at first they they will do everything they will support you they they will uh pretend to be like you they and um and you're you're just taken aback from this because you you think wow you know this person seems to fit in really well and but it's the thing is it's too good to be true because nobody with their own individual uh identification or own individual personality or a normal person would just fit in like that you know you would have to adapt with each other and and this is usually the case is this is too good to be true and it makes everyone else in the workplace look like they're hard work, that they're not fitting in, that that that, that they're not uh, 
gelling with 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 team uh, or with you as as a boss or or with you as uh, you know the family even a family family members they make other people look like outsiders because oh you're not you're not being like me you're you're not mirroring me um not that you're conscious consciously doing that it's just that like that the psychopath has made you believe that people should fit in so quickly or they should fit in with you instantly because it is all about you and they make it all about you. But in reality, normal people don't do that. They they don't do that. They don't, um, you know, it takes a while for people to get to know each other, each other's personalities, and then you start to, you know, uh, come together as, as a team, you know. Um, Another thing that um, psychopaths will do or pers people with personality uh, disorders, they will do that to, to who's important, who they need, what they need, uh, you know, to, to look like they are the best um, family member, the best, best daughter, the best, uh, best lover, whatever this is, they, they, will, they will make everybody else look beneath them and the way that they make everybody else beneath them is behind the scenes while they're not with that person you or whoever this is behind the scenes they are they are demeaning that person very kind of subtly uh subliminally subtly um uh discrediting uh the other person or the other people around and they do it to them behind closed doors they will say something they will send them messages they will send them phone calls they you know thinking that the main person is not going to see this and 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 what they do is slowly chip away at their 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 uh, contenders if you like because psychopaths see everyone as you know everyone as that they're against them and that they are going to compete with them. A normal person does not think that. They think that, okay, well, let's work as a team and let's work together. And, you know, it was a family. Let's, let's get together. Let's each other have our say. But uh, the psychopath stands out like a sore thumb because they will start to discredit the other people around. And this is a big red flag when they start to do that. And uh, you make a complaints of, wow, you know that person said this to me, and and then it makes you look as if, or it makes uh, the other pe people look as if it's that them that's crazy, and it says, wow, I can't believe that I got this, if you know, I got this response from this this other person, this psychopath, um, behind the scenes, behind closed doors, and, um. And then you're made to look, what do you mean? I don't see that. I don't see that in that person. I have never seen that in that person. Because what they're doing to the person that they want to impress or they want to love bomb them, make them feel that everything they say, do, uh, is, is right. So we, we get this with... Uh, psychopaths this is how they start off is the love bombing and discrediting people around they do it subconsciously it is something that they do uh without even thinking it's part of the wiring of their brain you know it's that their brain is wired up like this um they don't they don't do it do they do it deliberately? If Even if they don't do it deliberately, it, it's very damaging. It's a very damaging uh, behaviour. So, so say that you are maybe a family member or you are uh, talking to a psychopath, okay, the psychopath, uh, separately from who they're love bombing or who, who they want to impress. So you're talking, they, they, they pretend at first, They what they do is slightly love bomb you so they can find out about you and see what they can can actually use, okay, to, to discredit you. 
So they'll start off with pretending that they care and they, that they want to get to know you, that they're helping you. Um, and then you'll get this question out of the blue. Um, what is it you did before? Um, what is it that you, uh, what is, what, 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 what's your background? If you're in a working environment and it's a coworker, or even if it's a family member, um, you will say, well, you know, I, I went to university. Well, previous to this, I was at university and uh, I worked so hard, you know, it drove me crazy at times, but I got there in the end. And, uh, and then I, this led me to work in intensive care. And, you know, that, that is, it's just so intense and it can be quite stressful. It's quite a stressful environment. And I, that, and, um, a normal person, a normal wired person would say something like, wow, you worked so hard. I can see that you've achieved, you know, that you worked so hard and you, you've you been very kind of, um, you know, you, you, you have been very consistent in trying to get to your goals yeah, and you reached your goals and you reached that goal and now you're on to another chapter, which is fantastic. No, that is a normal person's reaction. A, a psychopath's reaction to that, they would be thinking in their head when you told them your backstory like that, they would be thinking, okay, she worked here, she did a degree. Why did she give that? Why did she move on to doing that? Okay, well, maybe she got the sack from that job and then she moved on to working in intensive care. Oh, and then maybe not only that you have have to have sparkling references to get in intensive care, okay. Oh, and then, but psychopaths don't think that. They're trying to do a backstory so they can weaponize it, okay. And then it's like, okay, she this is what's going on in their mind. She worked in intensive care. She found that very stressful. That means that she had a, a nervous breakdown that, that maybe would have led to going to some, um, you know, uh, some mental health facility that then she would have, you know, that that would have really broken her down, made her into a very broken person. Oh, and then um, she is now deciding to change her career yet again because what happened there, and um, and and then this this like narrative that isn't true that's made up to weaponize weaponize their victim so that's what they're thinking in their head so instead of getting that normal response from what you would normally get you get something like this response which is oh that's awful wow that must have been terribly stressful that must have been very hard to cope with which rings alarm bells to a normal person, you're thinking, mm, that's not a normal reaction. You know, that I, I don't normally get that reaction from a normal person. I normally get, wow, you reach your goal and that's amazing, you know, and I can see why you're moving now on to this next chapter. That that That's a red flag because it, it kind of, when you meet a psychopath, or a narcissist, and um, and they don't react in a normal, functioning, mentally normal, functioning human being. They react in a very strange way. It it kind of makes you be wary. You you don't know why. You can't put your finger on why you feel you can't trust this person. Uh, but you feel that you feel it, and and the why you feel that is because it's your it's your gut feeling telling you that something's a bit off here. You know why are they saying, "Oh, that's awful. That must have been so dreadful, and um, that that must have been so hard to deal with. That's so hard to cope with." There's no wonder you are like you are now, and you're thinking, "What what I, am I like now?" You know they make this narrative up. And then they take this narrative and they start to weaponize it, okay, just from you telling them that you are 
you know, what you've done before and you're trying to befriend them and tell them about yourself. They take that because you're a threat to them. You're, you're competition to them. They see everyone as com competition, not just you. Everyone is competition. They feel, uh, psychopaths feel as if they've got to tear you down first before you tear them down, okay? And they do. They do. They do tear you down and they do destroy you um, in, a, in an horrific, in horrific ways unless you back off and get out of dodge, okay? Um, so you're confronted with, and you can't work it out, okay, that's that's a bit off, you, you responding in that way. And uh, and if you're not intelligent enough, and you, if you are um, maybe suffer from anxiety and you, you can't, you would take that personally. You would say, oh, why, why do you think, do I actually, you start disbelieving in yourself because they're put, put in this negativity, uh, feeding you this negativity of instead of feeling proud of what you've done and proud of um, reaching that goal and then moving on to the next goal, um, they make you feel that there's something wrong with that. Well, you know, that was a strange kind of move you made there. Um, they make you feel wrong when you think, hang on, I was actually, back then, I was actually enjoying that challenge. Back then, I actually enjoyed that, that um, you know, university degree course, although it was challenging. I felt I'd achieved something by reaching, working in intensive care. Um, and you're telling me this, this has ruined my life. That just doesn't, you know, all of these things, um and you know it's, it's not a normal reaction and that's what you look for that's what you look for in anyone with psychopathy uh, or psychopathy is because they do not react in a normal you know a normal mentally normal way they react in a very bizarre kind of searching for things to weaponize okay so off they go with this backstory, this new narrative that they've made up in their own head, this this psychopath, uh, to back to the person or back to people that matter that's going to help them get up the ladder. Um, did you know that she was did this and did that and actually had some kind of breakdown there? Oh, did you realise that she... Uh, you know, she's pretty crumbled up inside and she's broken. Did you realise that? Uh, so then you get this and then it goes to a next person. Well, you know, maybe she needs to get therapy. Maybe she ne needs to go and see a psychologist. Well, maybe we should help her with that. Um, and, it, and, and, and then we get this smear campaign of everybody thinking, of this backstory, which is not true, that's been weaponized against you to make you look as if you're incompetent. Okay, that, that's what it's about. To make you look as if you are incompetent. And another, for instance, if it's a family member, is that you, um, you know, you've, you know, you're in a marriage and it's like, uh, oh, tell me, have you got children and, and things like that? Or, you talk about your children, your grandchildren, and you say, "Yeah, they're they're wonderful. I you know I see them as much as I can, and uh, it's great to see them, and it's it's wonderful, and you know I, I'm just so proud of them." And um, and the psychopath is thinking, is doing this that they're saying, "Okay, she she has." A daughter or grandchildren that live in another town or city or even live abroad okay why is that so why does that person live so far away what are the reasons for that and then they make up reasons why okay so there may have been some abuse here there may have been you know that 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 daughter or that son doesn't want to know her and she's moved they've moved away from her and and you know and it's um and it's turned into acid it's a lovely story talking about children and grandchildren is turned into some 
poisonous story, which then is taken and saying, do you know that person, uh, again, with the smear campaign, is, do you know, do you know that person? They've got grandkids and children that live really far away from them. You're thinking that, I, I think that, that she, they may even go to the lengths of saying, she told me that she didn't get on with her children or her grandchildren. And, you know, they, they, you know, why, why does she live so far away? And why, why this, why that, why this? A normal person would react to that as like saying, you know, oh, your daughter or your son lives in another town, another city, another, another country. Wow. You know, uh, what took them over there? And you'd say something like, oh, you know, they met someone, they fell in love or they went to university there or they went to college there and, you know, they set up their life there. Uh, they moved there to to be closer to other members of the family, which is really nice. I'm really happy about that. Uh, you know, their sisters live there um, and, and all this kind of thing. And the normal approach would be, the normal approach would be, how lovely, that's great. You know, it's nice that you actually go and travel over there and then you get to go to another country, another town. You know, you, you can explore uh, the area with, the, how lovely, that's that's great. I'm so happy that you've, you know, you've got a, a daughter, a son there and, and they're, they're doing well and they, they've got children and they're happy. Is that great? That, that's a normal reaction. Um, not the psychopathic looking for a weapon to use. I wonder why she is. Also, you get the in-laws, don't you? The, the in-laws that are saying, that are feeding negativities to the partner. And it's like, um, you're single, you know, you've found yourself single, you're separated from your partner, uh, you're separated from, um, and you get the psychopathic mother-in-law who, who will start to feed into that. I wonder why she's single. I wonder why she's alone. Why did they actually separate? You know, a normal mother-in-law would say something like, oh, okay, well, that's nice that you've met uh, someone new and it's lovely and um, I'm happy for you both and, um, you know, that's great. I'm so happy for you and uh, hope it's, um, you know, not, not even saying I hope it works out for you both. It's just, that's just so negative. It's like, well, that's fantastic. I'm so happy for you. When's the happy day kind of thing would be a normal reaction. Not the psychopathic mother-in-law saying, okay, why is she single? Why is she, why did she separate? Why do her children live so far away? Why, and, and put in, instilling all this poison into your partner's head, who then starts to question you and say in thinking and, and having negative thoughts towards you. Um narcissism, toxicity, all these kind of um red flags that you need to look out for. And as seeing as we're talking about uh crime and possible um narcissists uh in on my channel, I thought I'd cover this okay. Uh, not not just for what I'm covering, but just to help each other to understand to what to look out for. And when you do get somebody reacting uh, abnormally in, in the way you think, well, that's not a normal reaction, you know, and then doing all this to, you know, to, you know, all the, the bells and going over the top, too good to be true to who, who it matters. And then, putting you in a, a lower light, um, you need to get out of dodge there and run run for your life and get away from that person. Get away from that person, distance yourself from that person. I would say if it, even if it means leaving a job because that will, even if it means leaving a partner because that will escalate, it will escalate into something that's far more dangerous the end of the day, you would end end up either standing in court or you would end up calling police out, calling uh, services out, because they always go a step further to discredit you, which can become dangerous, okay? 
So um, I'm going to leave it there. We, we will follow up with more kind of psychopathic traits. If you know of any psychopathic traits that you've experienced, please put that in, in the uh, description at the bottom and we'll explore this a little bit further, okay? Right, exactly. I think with me having intuitive energies and gut, really strong gut feelings, I feel that I can pick this up quite quickly. I'm really, I am really, really perceptive. And and I scare, I actually do scare uh, uh, psych, psychopathic people away. Or they try, or they try to, okay, I found a little bit of a weakness there, or I, I thought I found a weakness there to to work on and then you kind of move the goalpost so they can't get that weakness um they start to realize they're dealing and they don't leave you alone either they up the ante it's not that they it's not that they leave you alone if you're perceptive they up the ante and it becomes even more dangerous that's why you need to run from these people okay if you've employed or if you are working with somebody like this you need to get rid of them you really do they will destroy they every employee that you employ they will get rid of them they will discredit them they will make this uh environment intolerable to work in uh for everyone you will find people leaving all the time because they'll pick up on this and that I don't want to work with this kind of energy and they will go so keep your eye open wide open to people like this and avoid them like the plague sending you lots of love you take care out there and bye for now